Sometimes when I'm writing a function, I set some piece of state or I open a connection to something, or really I do just whatever in a function at the start that I want to either undo or update or change when I leave the function, regardless of why I leave the function. For example, maybe I have a function that allows me to make a network call if I'm not already making a network call. So I would have like an is loading Boolean that I have to set to true when I start my network call and I'll set it to false on any code path that leads to me exiting the function. I could do that a little bit like this. Of course, I need to remember to manually set that state and unset it, and I'm going to forget at some point. It's, it's really likely that I will mess up this piece of code at some point in the future. Luckily in Swift, we can actually ensure that we have some piece of code that runs whenever we exit the current scope of execution. So I can add the keyword to my function and, and write some code to run whenever I leave the function. This is done with Swift's defer feature. It looks like this. All right, so I can write the defer keyword followed by something that looks like a closure, and that code will run whenever the scope that I'm currently in exits. So in this case, that scope is the function. I could also add this to an if statement, a for loop, or really anything that creates its own little scope of execution, and I could run my defer block whenever that exits. To be honest, I don't really use it in if statements or these kinds of things. I mostly use it in functions, but it's good to know that any anything that creates a scope of execution can take a defer. Now, your defer block will run whenever you're about to leave that scope. So if you have a function and you have a return statement in there, your defer is going to run right before that re return. So you can defer setting some state or unsetting some state to the last possible second before your function returns. And the cool thing is, is that you don't have to do anything to invoke that defer block. So it's always going to run at the exactly right time. One last thing I want to explain about defer is how it acts in an async await context. Because if you're writing asynchronous code and you have an asynchronous function, the defer block is not asynchronous itself. So it has to run uh, serially or synchronously. We can't do any asynchronous operations inside of the defer block unless we make a new task. And it's good to know that that task is going to run and it will not have finished before the defer block ends, right? So the defer block is really intended to do synchronous cleanup operations rather than any asynchronous work that you might have to do. I would like to pass the question off to you. Are you using defer in your projects? And if so, how are you using it, what's your most common reason to reach for a defer in Swift? I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all the things that make the algorithms happy, and I will see you in the next one.